Boys and goes for the very first time. Sector A plus great is being opened and oh, there better be some incredible stuff in here. Big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. Let's go. We're already doing a good chunk of damage to him. He did hit us with that stun, which does get to be kind of annoying if he continues doing that. But luckily, it does not look like he's going to continue doing that. What is that? Oh my God. Is that an insta kill? Hold up. What the heck was that? That's, he has some kind of insta kill he can do. to the brand spanking new laboratory update and ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the brand new hard mode of the laboratory last we left off we conquered sector a1 in a hard mode we've been having an absolute doozy with this update we've already checked out sector b1 and sector b2 in normal mode and today our crusade carries on and sector a2 is next up on the smorgasbord. board so if y'all have not yet make sure you go to the link at the top of the description and check out our playlist so far because the adventures have been insane so far without a doubt sector a1 and the necrotic hybrid goodness gracious were the nuttiest boss i have yet to ever face and i am like still kind of in shock and awe ladies and gentlemen this show must go on our armor piercing arsenal continues to be tapped into hopefully we will have enough over here to get us through the trials and tribulations we got a few more reanimators for us here as well so hopefully all goes good with that and a little bit of a treat look Look at that, the brand new housekeeping perk that we unlocked from leveling up our reputation with Ava back up topside and did make an appearance and from doing a little bit of research into this perk, apparently this will like choose a random room supposedly from what i've heard we're gonna see it firsthand but apparently this perk like chooses a random room and just like kills all the zombies in it in our run so i'll definitely take that however things are gonna get dangerous enemies damage is increased by 15 percent in his sector a2 and we have a pretty crazy boss awaiting us too we're gonna be doing the uh whatchamacall the carriona mark 7 awaits us at the end of this sector and in order to beat the sector we need to beat him so that is why we brought three animators because if we mess up a boss battle the boss will go back to full health and this is all the armor piercing weapons i have so we cannot afford to have a boss regenerate such a crazy amount of health like that but without further ado ladies and gentlemen boys and girls some crazy dude awaits us let's activate the housekeeping confirm our very first very rare perk open up the doorway and pain and suffering awaits. <laughs> now, I did also go ahead and make a few of these mini Uzis specifically because I think they have the highest fire rate out of any gun that we can have. Now, the thing is, if we don't use a weapon with armor piercing capabilities, our weapons will do one damage. However, with the Uzi, if we just make it go pew pew really freaking fast, that one damage might add up decently quicker. The recoil control on these is absolute poop goop soup. But you know what? We'll roll with the punches. We'll see how it goes. And hello, scientists, how are you? and okie dokie already off to a great start this is not the most obnoxious wombo combo of enemies i've seen i've seen significantly worse zombies dude i'm already dreading our first encounter with the toxic spewer that is like the last enemy i want to run into luckily we still have the agility perk from the first little run uh that we did in sector a1 and let's just go and see I mean, look at that. Those ones add up pretty quickly. The recoil does start adding up after a bit, but A, at least we can't use this Uzi. I might use that for maybe some of the weaker enemies that have like 100 health or something to try and save some of our armor piercing weapons for uh, some of the heavy hitting or fellers. We do also, oh no, we're bleeding. Woohoo! Shotgun rain, baby! Some state drop the slash shot feels the pain. Shotgun rain! We'll go ahead and start healing up with our active skill mod uh, over, or active skill over there. Uh, pick up a few of those cards. Hopefully, if all goes according to plan, we will be able to open up a Sector A a plus crate today as well and let's uh what's like i was saying we do have the protector over here which is pretty much like the armor piercing shotgun this thing i honestly after what we saw firsthand with that in the last episode i don't think that i want to use that during a boss battle dude the protector the fact like is before it shoots look at that like after i click the shoot button there's like a split second before it shoots so if i shoot but then move it actually will not fire off whereas like all of these other guns instantly shoot, so that gives us a lot more maneuverability. So I'm not gonna lie, the protector is actually, I think, one of the worst guns for high intensity, uh, which we call boss battles in hard mode over here. So we're definitely gonna be staying away uh, from that. But over here we have, okay, lovely, the groaner, a little two hit a quitter. We'll go ahead and do that in. Uh, I'm gonna try, and this is something I would recommend as well. If you are doing a hard mode run of any sector, 
just keep your business out of the side rooms that you do not need to do because that is where extra pain and suffering will appear and oh no there he is the very first toxic spewer the lad that i am probably least excited uh, to see this one is going to be a pain in the butt just due to the fact that he is literally capable of healing it once he steps into his spin luckily it doesn't look like he's spinning too much so i'll definitely take that it doesn't look like he has, like he has too much armor so i'll take that oh no he went ahead and spat i thought he was gonna like maybe not spit that time i really want to go and take this fellow down first out of all of them because again his kind of spitting ability just makes him really annoying i did actually heal probably way sooner than i had to we're just gonna try and lure him away and again we just want to take down that spewer first and foremost without a doubt priority numero uno shotgun raid oh and he's down and then the neutralizer over here is a little bit of a slower firing pistol. It has a 2.0 attack speed versus like the 4.0 that a normal pistol would have. But I'm not going to lie, man. The neutralizer is a very consistent and a very solid weapon for taking this fella down. And there we have it. Kind of the first room, so to speak, is taken down. We slim not seeing that housekeeping perk come into effect. Again, this is an optional room. We are trying to skip as many optional rooms as possible. When you are doing hard mode, I mean, the bang for your buck is going to be from opening up chests and just kind of trying to get through it so we are gonna try to avoid as many optional side rooms as possible at least until we potentially know because like there are a few what's recall per sector run there are two chests that can appear and the chests are where we'll be able to pretty much get the best bang for our buck in terms of getting stuff uh but the thing with that is is that i don't know man the optional rooms the little side rooms do have a chance of spawning those chests in there but there's also a chance that the chests just spawn directly in your path so my game plan is is that we are not going to try and open any side rooms pretty much until we, I think, defeat this floor. Then maybe we'll double back and open up some side rooms. But otherwise, this is option. This is valuable weapon durability that we are saving. Because, I mean, y'all can already see we've already gone through a few. I mean, to be fair, we did literally start with, like, a few, like, no durability guns in our inventory. But still, nonetheless, we just need to absolutely preserved to the best of our ability and i'm not gonna lie so far i gotta say i am in love with the lack of toxic spewers that was the enemy that i was most dreading in this potential run and they appear to not be making too much of an appearance which is pretty awesome uh which my call probably after i take down the slash i'm gonna go and rotate to using that freaking uh which we call armor piercing shotgun a little bit more i'm so excited by the way for the armor piercing sniper rifle which really quick recap if y'all don't know what i'm talking about uh let me just go and uh, show it here because this is where we can actually see the stats for this thing the armor piercing ultimatum 110 damage well you know it has 0.7 speed so a little bit on the slower side but oh my god that is the highest damage gun in the game and it's armor piercing we actually get that as we continue with leveling up our reputation which the collection of things like the employee badges and i mean potentially the key card a pluses will allow us to accomplish so it is awesome when the zombies do drop this but again zombies in hard mode are not guaranteed to drop these items so the i don't know the best bang for our buck is going to be from those guaranteed chests that hopefully we can get to appear but already i'd say we're right around the halfway mark here and we're gonna go and swap in that protector we want to again use that before the boss battle because no way jose am i gonna use that when we are boss battling Yay! let's go and do a little bit of shock and rain too because it does do a really nice number 50 like a little over 50 damage which means that four shots will kill this uh which we call scientist extremely efficiently and we are here for efficiency right now because like listen if a zombie is like two health left i'm not trying to waste a shot from one of my armor piercing weapons to take him down i've never had to conserve durability so much like this before but ladies and gentlemen there's a first time for everything so i'm gonna go and use that pistol he's gonna go ahead and blow are the parasites they get birth no okay so bless up these parasites are schmucks we'll go ahead and mow them down the old-fashioned way with a little bit of that mini Uzi jacuzzi. Welcome to the five-star Papa Star Resort and Spa. All inclusive stay with, of course, the star feature being oh, the Uzi jacuzzi, baby. And there's plenty where that came from. But okie dokie, onwards and upwards, we go. Only a few more rooms to get through. I am still very terrified of this room, so what I'm going to try and do here... First things first, let's go and open up this just so we have a lot more room to kind of, like, run and stuff. We're going to wait for that thing. And then we are going to try and bring a few zombies our way. Hello, hello, toxic spewer. Oh, no, it's not going to electrocute. That could have been very bad. And we do have what appears to be almost the 1v1. No, there's a freaking... Oh, that's going to be kind of annoying. Dude, this is what I'm talking about, man. This, The fact that this takes like a split second before it actually shoots is ridiculously obnoxious for when you're trying to like run and gun and just trying to take down some help from these enemies while also running away a decent amount. But there we go. We managed to dip out of there. And oh, he's going to heal a little bit on that spit. Oof, that is unfortunate. 
unfortunate. Let's see, explore that with a little bit there. And uh, come on, baby, come to me, Toxic Spewa. You have way too much health to start healing up a little bit. One, uh, two, Shotgun Rain is a hullabaloo. I don't even know what a hollow blue is, but it just felt right. And let's just go and shock rain you a little bit here. Exploder, buddy. But I mean, so far, so good, man. I mean, definitely the fact that we are not doing too many side rooms is nice. I'm just gonna go and actually activate your boom boom uh, via the mini Uzi, because I just wanna, again, maximize the bang for our buck. We got a few parasites over there. Take them down the easy peasy way. Continue collecting a few of those. We've still yet to find one chest here. Oh no, you know what? I just realized. This next room, we are not gonna have a fun time in, folks. I definitely wanna get some better guns for this room. If we have a bad run of luck here, this next room is gonna be ridiculously obnoxious to finish, man. Because it is such tight quarters and such annoying enemies if like a toxic spewer and stuff do spawn in. So let's be a little bit careful. Let's go and activate this thing. And hello, Screamer, how you doing? Okay, okay, I'll take that, baby. Let's freaking go. This is actually a really good one of luck. Not a single toxic spewer appearing in this room. Let's go actually a few relatively easier zombies. There's the juggernaut, which is pretty armored, but we can go ahead and take him down. And we continue to approach the deadly awaited oh my god the thing that i'm terrified of the thing that i bought the reanimators for the freaking carrion boss oh we will see what that is all about okie dokie let's go ahead and get a few more bullets up into the stream bye bye sayonara baby see you later alligator and on to the next room we go now that we're gonna have a little bit more maneuvering room why don't we go and actually swap in the protector Again, this room just could have been a very bad disaster because we don't have much maneuvering room. Very tight quarters. If there's a toxic spewer, it could get pretty annoying. But with that taken out, we do have a little bit more room here to play with. And I will be taking that to the bank, even though there is a toxic spewer, annoyingly enough, right there. Luckily, the uh, entourage she is rocking is not the deadliest entourage in the world. So we should be able to make relatively relatively light work of this fella here hit him with a few uh, shotgun raid blasts we do have to be careful about the fact that i am currently standing in his spit and we do not oh man that's actually an l we let him spit while he was standing in his spit that's the last thing you want to do because he will just continue healing if that's the case we're gonna go and try to mow him down a little bit from this angle and see you later alligator toxic spewer down and y'all can see like i hopefully we got enough armor piercing weapons like we honestly might have just enough to get rid of, get through the rest of this floor man we got about what two equalizers and three neutralizers left if that's not enough for the final boss i just folks ladies and gentlemen i don't know i'm gonna poop my pants a little bit that is gonna be bad news bears up the wazoo beautiful our first chest makes an appearance ahead of us yeah bro you love to see that let's take down the groaner and then after this there's one more room that we gotta worry about we still haven't seen that housekeeping perk in action so i wonder man like uh, uh, probably what it is is i wonder if like one of the optional rooms actually just ended up getting all of the zombies cleared out so we might really need to double back and try to see what those optional rooms do have to offer for us especially because we are also going to be on the hunt for the second chest because here we have the first chest that spawns in you might be like star the second one's in here no that is the past chest we got to get the past perk to open that puppy up that's a different story we'll get around to that no worries but uh counting that there's technically three chests that spawn per sector but we have uh what you call but not counting that there's two and here's the first one that we found right over here which will give us some incredible bang for our buck big money in a way big money and whammy, big money and whammy. Let's go, baby. I'll be checking that straight to the bank. Be collecting a few of those. And there is but one more room until the battle with the boss himself awaits. And we're going to go under that with two neutralizers and two equalizers. I think that that will be a pretty decent plan of attack. Let's go ahead and chow down a little bit of that canned food. And hello, Grota. How do you do? Let's go ahead and take you down over there a slasher as well also i'm not gonna lie i think like my game may have glitched or something because like i don't think my food or water has been going down i'm not gonna lie i don't think it's gone down since when we died in the freaking sector a1 boss because it definitely was going down before that so i wonder if like our death the game's just like give us a little bit of mercy it's like you know what star is getting his absolute butt handed to him by this boss let's give him a little bit of mercy yeah yeah okay there we go before we deal with the parasites i'd like to ideally take down the slasher here because then the parasites will be burst and when they are burst i would like them to die via the hands of our uzi because we're definitely not going to be using this thing in the middle of that boss battle but let's go dude shout out to the game for giving me a little bit of mercy through the pain and suffering of sector a1 i actually have no idea how that happened i imagine like next time we die it'll probably like go back to normal but till then i'll take it baby I'll, I'll i'll take it to the best of my ability and boom we got a few more over there bringing our total up to 33 of the key card a pluses and uh Ladies and gentlemen, oi vey man, the last time we did a boss battle in hard mode, it did not go over well. Luckily, this boss, in e even in normal mode, is easier than the necrotic hybrid in normal mode. So hopefully that theme 
does continue. We're going to go into here. We're going to have an equalizer and the neutralizer. A little double whammy wombo combo. We are going to inject ourselves with the reanimator. And we are going to hope for the best because... Oh, baby. I am kind of pooping my pants a little bit. This is <laughs> just... After the way the last boss went, I don't know, dude. Like, this should be manageable, but... He does have a special attack that can stun us. If he's doing more damage, that might not go well for us. So, I don't know. Time, time will tell with this one, folks. But before we go ahead and dive in through this doorway, I just want to give you guys a reminder as well. Then we're going to be live streaming on Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Link in the description and in the pinned comment. Twitch.tv slash StarSlime. Y'all can pop out over there. We're going to be playing some Last Day Outers, celebrating the new update, and having a ton of fun. And we're also going to be hosting a giveaway as well to celebrate the new update, too. So make sure that y'all do pop on over there. We're going to have the face cam going. We're going to have the live chat rolling so y'all can literally chat and interact with the stream as it is going on. It's an incredible way to go ahead and kick off the weekend every single Friday at that time. And uh, if you guys don't know what time that it starts, you know, local time zone there's another link in the description twitch.tv slash star type schedule it will let you guys know what time that the stream starts in your own local time zone so super handy dandy that's the same time that that stream starts every single week so looking forward to seeing y'all folks there and looking forward to this boss battle here ah! we will see how this goes folks we will see how this goes i mean i don't know like we got good armor i mean we're rocking kevlar the best armor in the game we got our equalizer, we got our neutralizer, and I mean, we got a freaking revive ready to go. We got another one if things hit the fan. And hopefully we got enough armor piercing weapons to get us through this. And then hopefully we can get the key card A+. Plus. Hopefully that gets us some more armor piercing weapons. Hopefully turning in these reputation items get us some more armor piercing items as well. Because we're going to need more. Because ladies and gentlemen, Scepter B1 it does await us after this too. But okay, I'm just kind of delaying the inevitable. <sighs> I literally, I've like had anxiety about this all day. I've been like, dude, I don't know how this boss battle is going to go. I can't remember the last time I've had anxi anxiety about a boss battle. So you know what? That's the first time for everything, lads. Hello, how are you doing, my friends? Hello to you. How are you, Mr. Carrion? Okay, the beautiful thing is, is that he does not have too much health. So I'll definitely take that. We're already doing a good chunk of damage to him. He did hit us with that stun, which does get to be kind of annoying if he continues doing that. But luckily, it does not look like he's going to continue doing that. What is that? Oh, my God. Is that an insta-kill? Hold up, what the heck was that? That's, he has some kind of insta-kill he can do? Bro, what? That's new, that's new. We gotta be ready for that, dude. If that happens, we gotta be ready to freaking juke our way out of there. What? He can literally insta-kill us? We gotta definitely keep our distance from him, man. No way I'm letting that thing hit again. No way, Jose, no, 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 no. That cannot hit again, he is so close to dying. Oh, we're being electrocuted, but that's right. He's literally almost dead as long as he doesn't do that foot stop. We might be good to go, baby. We might be good to go. Die, yes! Oh, that could have been so bad. Let's go! Oh my God. Okay, he has a new ability. He can insta kill you. Oh, oh. Thank God we had two reanimators. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm literally shaking from that dude. Oh my God. Yeah, guys. Oh. I, dude, there's no way to avoid that. He has a new ability that can insta kill you. He doesn't seem interested in punching the pylons, which is a perfect distraction in the past. Like, oh my God. Dude, I was about to say, it wasn't letting me grab his loot, dude, if I can't even get his loot, but okay. We did manage to get his loot here. I'm still shaking just a little bit, but ladies and gentlemen, Sector A2 has been conquered. Oh my God. Oh, dude, my, <laughs> my heart's beating. My heart's beating hard. <sighs> oh. And okie dokie, folks, uh, I went ahead and grabbed a little bit more fuel here for our our reactor there we go we got just enough over here to power up this sector b1 and right off the bat dude you know what we got to do here in sector b1 while my chest continues to suffer from its pain and suffering uh we're gonna refresh this a few times we need to get the pass perk what is what does heat wave do what is this turns off the cooling system oh that could be kind of handy especially because who knows what this is gonna be like in hard mode sector b1 is hard enough in easy mode dude hard mode's gonna be anxiety oh my god dude we barely beat him oh you might be like, Star, stop overreacting. You do not. I'm not overreacting, man. We haven't been challenged like that in a hot minute. Actually, since last episode. But we overcame this challenge this time, and that made it more stressful. The Necrotic Hybrid just freaking raffle stomped us, dude. But this guy, we barely managed to beat. Oh, my God. Can I please get this pass perk, man? I want to try and open up this Sector A plus crate before... Oh, what is this? Autonomy? 
while in the laboratory, you don't stink, feel hunger, thirst, or the need to go to the toilet. I wonder if my game somehow glitched and applied the autonomy perk to us, because that's literally what appears to be happening to us. Regardless, I'm not gonna take that. I'm gonna take the pass perk here, which raises our security clearance level. And uh, yes, sir, please, we will take that. Now in this upcoming sector, B1, boss's health has increased by 40%, so. <laughs> That's gonna be painful. Luckily, Sector B1 does have an optional boss for us. The boss in Sector B1, we do not need to do, which is good news because like, I, 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 I don't know, man. We'll give him a go, don't get me wrong. We'll see what we can do to him. But just give it away that these bosses are going. Lads, lossies, I'm just saying, man, be, be afraid. Be very afraid. But all right, we're gonna double back through here and we're gonna try and see which freaking doorway I'm listening here, right? And I don't hear any zombies making noises, so I wonder if this... Look at that, lads! Let's go! That is what happens! So that room actually ended up being automatically cleared by... I mean, there's a freaking broom here. I'll never get tired of cleaning up after you. The janitor, Jim! The janitor's a boss! He literally just went in here and smacked some dudes upside the head with a broom. That's an armor-piercing broom. I need that thing. In my arsenal, goodness gracious, holy guacamole, sweet baby Jesus. Now, the question is, where is the optional loot? If I had to guess, it might be in here. This is usually where we actually see some optional loot spawn in. And yes, it did spawn into there. So did a few enemies, but luckily once we take these enemies down, that chest is going to be ours. We still have the past chest to go in and open up to. So things are all in all going pretty according to plan. And like, we need them to go according to plan. We need more armor piercing weapons before we move on to sector B1 and ultimately sector B2 because this, lads and lassies, is not going to cut it. You all have seen the horrors that this sector awaits. And they wait for no man, but check it out. Check this out. We're gonna be able to get probably a few uh, Sector A plus cards in here. Boom shakalaka and some, oh nice. I will take some of that catalyst. That brings our total up to 45. We do now have at the end of here that pass, by the way, that we're gonna go ahead and grab. Luckily, once we clear out the sector, all the traps get turned off so we don't have to worry about getting electrocuted. Oh my God, speaking of getting electrocuted, dude, I still can't believe that boss battle. Oh, oh. Like folks, hard mode is hard. Oh, Star, oh my god, what, what? No way, I know, hard mode is hard. This is a challenge even, even for me, man. And let's go, five mode, bringing our total up to 50. Just enough to pop open that crate on the top side. So today, not only are we gonna go and turn in some of these reputation cards and get some additional reputation, but y'all folks are also gonna get to see the beauty unfold and see what evades inside of the box. Oh, I forgot to see if the harpoon does the piercing damage. I was so busy having a freaking panic attack in this boss battle. I almost forgot. We gotta see uh, if the harpoon does anything. Cause I don't know, man. It shoots a literal harpoon at someone. You better have, like your armor has gotta be insane to stop a harpoon from piercing you through the heart, you know? But check it out. We're also gonna go ahead and double back here through sector A1 as well. Because we did not get, uh, we got both uh, normal chests that spawn in. But we did not get... Check it out. Yeah, we got this one here. Did I leave anything in there? Actually, yeah, I left an inhaler. I'll go ahead and grab that. But, uh, we grabbed the chests. We did not open any of the optional doorways because I'm not gonna... I'm not trying to open any optional doorways that we do not have to open, right? Just doesn't make sense. Because zombies are not gonna be your main way of getting reputation points and getting cards. Your main way is gonna be through the chests. And... When you're doing hard mode, you gotta be playing for bang for your buck, man. Normally, I'm gu I'm freaking guns blazing, freaking Rambo style, destroying everything in the laboratory. Bro, that is not possible this time around. We gotta be strategic. And check it out. Boom, shakalaka. We'll take a little bit of that over there. So, so those are the two chests that we got last time. Uh, but we did not go here. So let's just go and pop this puppy open. Get a little bit more reputation cards. Get a little bit more of the A cards. And bada boom, bada bang. I'll be taking those straight to the bank, please. And thank you. I'll return for the anti-red. But uh, for now, let's just go and skippy doo da, skippity day, our way out of here. Whew. Yeah, let me know in that comment section though what y'all think about laboratory hard mode because, oh my goodness gracious, this is a challenge. And dude, I gotta say, Sector 16, whenever it comes out, which hopefully will be soon. I mean, usually there's like a few weeks between updates. We got a permanent content update just now, so if I had to guess, we'll get season 16 in a few weeks. Uh, hopefully that encompasses a lot of armor piercing weapons being handed out. And hopefully, man, 
we just get more armor piercing weapons added to like different spots you know like even like the ability to, like that's what they need to do they really need to add more ways to get these armor piercing weapons because like don't get me wrong hard mode's a challenge but right now for me especially the most challenging thing i mean obviously the boss battles don't get me wrong but on top of that uh i mean just just the fact that we don't have the right quantity of guns to get through this stuff like look we are left with one two three four armor piercing weapons and i've been stockpiling these ever since the laboratory initially came out but Ava, 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 my gal my lass check out what i got for you here i got some employee badges we got about 50 points right over there and i got some data discs which means that a brand spanking new reward awaits us from ava and ooh, we are very close to a random threat blocker blocks one of the threats in the laboratory sectors needs to be activated in the terminal by the bioreactor so next reward that we get is actually going to be some sort of a threat we're able to block. And that's going to work similarly uh, to the housekeeping perk that we got, right? Which one goes ahead and uh, watch my call. Uh, yeah, which goes ahead, gets applied here. We're going to be able to do something similar, I think. But block threats, which are kind of like the debuffs that we get. Like, you know, when the enemy's health goes up, when the enemy's damage goes up. You know, some of the stuff I was talking about earlier. Whereas the perks are what helps us. You know, where it's like the pass, for example, where you can open up extra chests and stuff like that. But okie dokie, speaking of opening up chests, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls for the very first time, voice crack, sector A plus, great, is being opened and told there better be some incredible stuff in here. Big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. Let's go to armor piercing weapons. Whoa! We needed that also oh my goodness gracious they made electronic circuits beautiful also let's go i'll be taking some of these power cells especially these energy cells dude we really need to stockpile on these i've been stockpiling on these on the hope that we'll be able to use them to like uh you know build stuff you know build recipes build new workbenches and stuff but read that description restores the resonator durability star what do you mean the resonator a very special gun that we can actually get a level 30 of our reputation durability is restored within energy cells that's going to be an incredible dude a weapon that we are able to literally restore just by using energy cells i mean energy cells who knows how much they'll restore you know who knows how much usage we'll get out of it but the fact of the matter that we'll be able to get energy cells through a variety of methods primarily through the laboratory probably normal mode is going to be our best way of getting energy cells and uh even like opening up like a what you recall like we get, we can get energy cells out of here too right but we'll be able to get some more of those and then stockpile those and just continuously regenerate our resonator. That's going to be huge. Especially in our battle here that we are kind of just trying to have the most of the armor piercing weapons as possible. Speaking of which, I, I don't know, man. I mean, I would like this might be enough to get us through the next sector. As long as we're kind of like a little bit on the chill side, we might be able to get through this next sector with the five we have there and the one right there. Like, I don't know, dude. It might be a long shot, but the boss is optional. So, who knows, man? Maybe, maybe we could do it. Time will tell. We still gotta figure out the freaking harpoon. I gotta, I gotta do that next time. No worries, lads. I will do that next time. I'm not having a heart attack in the middle of something, which, honestly, I don't know when that next time's gonna be. Time will tell. But, uh, with that said and with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I do believe that is actually a perfect point for us to go ahead and start ending off this episode of a last day on earth when we return sector b2 or sector b1 i should say hard mode awaits us and i don't know what awaits man i mean there's some pretty obnoxious frozen zombies in there i remember from our normal run of sector b1 we've only done sector b1 once that's a thing too man sector a1 and a2 that we did we were pretty experienced in them Hard mode is just like a bit of a twist. The zombies get harder, but we still kind of know where to go. You know, we still kind of know largely what to expect. Sector B1 and B2, I mean, I've done them each once. But, uh, they might be a decent mystery left to be mounted. I don't know. Time will tell. We'll see what goes on with that. That's going to start wrapping it up. Follow me for now. Hey, you guys are holding for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.